just Google my boss is to see what most people think of their managers and maybe, just maybe, feel a bit better about your manager. Crazy, abusive, unbearable, toxic, and some other things that are just too rude to repeat here. So the main question we should be asking is not why there aren't any more women leaders, but why so many incompetent men become leaders. My research suggests there are three main reasons for this. The first is our inability to distinguish between confidence and competence. Anywhere in the world, we assume that confident people have more potential for leadership, but in any area of talent, including leadership, there is just very little overlap between confidence, how good people think they are at something, and competence, how good they actually are at something. I grew up in Argentina, where the gap between confidence and competence is particularly pronounced. In fact, one of the best investments you can make in your life is to buy an Argentine for what he's worth and sell him for what he thinks he is worth. <laughs> As you can imagine, I can't crack this joke back home. <laughs> We're just not self-aware enough to find it funny. Unfortunately, though, most leaders have something Argentine in them in that their self-perceived talents tend to surpass their actual talents. The second reason is our love for charismatic individuals, particularly since the 1960s mass media explosion, but this has been turbocharged by the recent digital age. We appear to want leaders who are charming and entertaining, but there is a big difference between an effective leader and a stand-up comedian. In fact, the best leaders are humble rather than charismatic, to the point of even being rather boring. This is why they rarely feature in the media or blockbuster movies. For example, imagine a movie on Angela Merkel. She wakes up, has breakfast with her husband, goes to meetings well prepared, lets other people talk without interrupting them, makes rational decisions, runs her country well. There are no scandals about her. In contrast, there is a surplus of captivating biopics on charismatic leaders with a fascinating dark side who end up ruining their countries and organizations. The third and final reason for the rise of incompetent men is our inability to resist the allure of narcissistic individuals. People with grandiose and megalomaniac visions that tap into our own narcissism. We've always admired famous people, but our admiration for people who admire themselves or are famous for, well, just being famous, has been rising for decades. At this rate, future generations will look back at Kim and Kanye and say, wow, weren't they modest? <laughs> Remember Paris Hilton? Exactly, she's hardly newsworthy today. In line, much of the popular advice that focuses on helping people become leaders, nurtures and promotes a narcissistic mindset. Love yourself no matter what. Don't worry about what people think of you. If you think you're great, you are. Unfortunately, this creates a surplus of leaders who are unaware of their limitations and unjustifiably pleased with themselves. They see leadership as an entitlement and lack empathy and self-control, so they end up acting without integrity and indulging in reckless risks. In contrast, the best leaders manage to keep their narcissism in check. They care a lot about other people, including what they think of them, and spend a great deal of time worrying about their reputation, which is why there are very few scandals about them. The first solution is to follow the science and look for the qualities that make people better leaders especially when they don't usually make people leaders. There is a pathological mismatch between the attributes that seduce us in a leader and those that are needed to be an effective leader. If we want to improve the performance of our leaders, we should start by focusing on the right traits. Instead of falling for people who are confident, narcissistic and charismatic, we should promote people into leadership because of their competence, humility and integrity.